Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Oktaya here at Telecom Exchange New York City 2017 with my friend, longtime friend, Mr. Gil Santelis. He is the founder of NJFX, New Jersey Fiber Exchange. Gil, welcome again to JSA TV. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you for having me once again at the event. Oh, it is so our pleasure. You know, let's start from the very beginning. Sure. For those who might not know, sure. can you tell us a bit more about NJFX? Sure. So NJFX is the world's and only uh, first co-location campus that exists at a cable landing station. And the novelty of this was in the past, cable landing stations were created with not much thought into terms of how do you connect at that cable landing station. What we did is invested and developed the property around the cable landing station. And that development included building the world's first tier three facility to exist at the cable landing station. Now, the important part of this to realize is we kind of act as a co-location, data center, carrier hotel, kind of all within one facility. And if you look at the standards that carrier hotels created over the last 25 years, they started usually as office buildings, they started as uh, automobile dealerships, they started off as something other than what they were meant to become. What we did is develop and actually create a purpose-built facility but maintain the standards of a carrier hotel by allowing cross connects to not have recurring costs and also provided a safe environment. I'll share one quick story with you yeah, that yeah. happened this week. We had a, a new carrier moving in, a very large carrier, and they were asking questions like, where can I put my batteries in this space? Like, why would you bring batteries into my facility? I've got a UPS system. I've got a tier three design. I've got two generators. It's state of the art. It's five nines of availability. They just didn't understand. They were used to going to facilities that were basically not meant to do what they actually do at the end. It's like you, you brought the, all of the best possible solutions that uh, of, of the pain points that we've been facing in the data center world and you brought them you solved them you brought them all into one location it's it's amazing Gil. very innovative and thank you another innovation is is your partnerships uh, this past year we've seen a lot of partnerships going on can you tell us a little bit more about that sure so the, the first partnership was with Tata Communications, who owned the cable landing station next door. And in our partnership with them, we ran, we now run the Meet Me Room in a carrier neutral fashion in their facility. So the partnership started by helping their existing 11 customers now have new options. So Altis became a customer at NJFX. Oh, great. Light Tower became a customer at NJFX. Windstream broke out and started offering services at NJFX. So all of a sudden now Tata had more options for its customers to have. Um, these carriers now had a destination that was fairly unique in terms of their network to provide connectivity across the US, across the New York Metro, and bypass New York City. Today we sit in lovely New York City, it's a great place to be, but everything doesn't have to go into New York City. And there are carriers still around the world that believe that when cables come to the U.S., they land in Manhattan. <laughs> There's no cables landing in Manhattan. They're landing in New Jersey. They're landing at our facility. And now U.S. carriers can grab that capacity, extend them to New York. It's an important destination, but they don't have to go to New York. You can, you can reroute as necessary. You can plan your destination. And with disaster recovery uh, on the lips of many, especially during hurricane season this, uh, this time of year, Phenomenal. Sure, whether it's hurricane season or, or God forbid an event that's happening on a regular basis now in Europe yeah. where people can't travel as easily and get to those network points, we offer a safe location and a place that's inconspicuous that you wouldn't assume that's highly secure that you can come and manage those networks on times when things aren't going as normal in our country. And, and getting back to your point previously about you know how Windstream and Altis and Tata, this, this ecosystem that's developing in your facility. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure. So I mentioned a few of the U.S. providers that are now in the facility offering options to Tata. What I didn't mention is that the Seaborn cable landed in the Tata facility. Oh. And um, although Seaborn is not yet handing off their Brazilian traffic, we have Sparkle. It's a customer of NJFX handing off their capacity from Brazil directly in our facility. We have Tata handing off their Brazilian capacity. 
And um, I'm happy to share as well at ITW, Aquacom announced that they're going to now offer facilities direct to Dublin. So we've got multiple ways to leave the U.S. that there have been access in one building before, and we have multiple backhaul providers that are now providing access to those cables. In addition, we have enterprise customers saying, I need to be here because now I can sit here and buy my subsea capacity as needed, and I can pick how I get here. So it's all working as planned. Now you have a nice, diverse marketplace where people can choose their their, um, their providers as well as their price points and, and service. It's a competitive marketplace. It is. Love it. All right. So in terms of growth and company expansion, what's on the horizon for NGFX? So we did announce a campus expansion plan, and that was driven because um, we had one large financial that came in for a visit, and they liked the building. <laughs> And they said, we like this building, but our needs are pretty big. And I thought, well, how much space do you need? And they said, well, the second floor looks good, but I need the first floor also. I'm like, well, that's our entire building. So what we came up with is a plan to joint venture and pick up a 48-acre additional piece of property adjacent to our property. So now we have a 58-acre campus. Oh, my goodness. And today, if you go to our website and you go on to virtual tour, you're going to get a tour of our 58-acre campus where we're planning on building a tier four data center for a particular customer. Um, and we're also looking at putting another cable landing station. So now imagine you go to a campus where cables land in one building, land in a separate building, so you have diversity between the two buildings, tier four data center in between, and business continuity buildings along. So we're creating a New Jersey destination where we have 58 acres and we can host several million square feet of data center, co-location, business continuity, and cable landing stations. 58 acres. Unbelievable. NJFX.net. Definitely check out that virtual tour. And Gil, thank you again for joining us here on My, JSA TV. My pleasure, Jimmy. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Thank you to viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.